So we'll have lead iodide, there's a KSP, in potassium chloride, it's 0 0.10 molar. I want the molar solubility of this. Okay? There's a question. So you go lead iodide, write out the KSP, is lead 2 plus plus 2 I minus. Those are both aqueous in the products. Now when you have something in something else, you want to think, is there a reaction that it could occur? Well, if K plus, it's really expect, it's not going to do, it's not going to do anything to iodine. Chlorine, though you might not suspect it, as soon as you look in the KF table, and we probably have to give you this reaction, you'll see the following happens. So, uh, lead, once you add in chlorine, and the following reaction I'm just getting out of the KF table on page 762, Petrucci, uh, we'll react with three chlorines, these are both aqueous, to form PbCl3 minus. Okay? This is a KSP, we have that value. This is a KF. We're forming, uh, we have either a transition metal or anything under the staircase, this is under the staircase, plus something attached to it, that's what we call a complex ion. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you'll see lead's under the staircase. This is one of those KFs that gives you the KF. Are KFs large or small? Large. Yeah, this one, I happen to randomly not pick one that's crazy large. <laughs> it's not that large, in fact, just because I picked one. Usually they're really large. This one's not, happens to not be that large. Doesn't matter. So, what's going to happen, we start producing this. Once we add in the chlorine from the KCl, this is going to start disappearing. It'll shift more to the right and it'll be slightly more soluble. Okay? So, what you do to find the molar solubility, you add these up, these will cancel. You're left with lead, iodide, solid, plus. 3Cl minus goes to 2I minus plus PbCl3 minus. Everything not labeled is uh, aqueous. Find molar solubility right down the ice table. And then ignore solids. Everything's also aqueous, so we keep those in. The only one that has a value is the Cl minus. It's 0 0.10. 0 and 0. So then you'd go minus 3x plus 2x plus x and so on and so forth. Uh, I'll erase the top for a second. So you'd go k total equals, in this case, ksp times kf, which is equal to the products i minus squared times lead chloride, all divided by chlorine minus cubed. And you put in numbers. Is that okay? Yeah. What about, um, at the review session yesterday, you did a problem where you had to move, you had to use a, a stoichiometry thing to move it over because you can't have, you have to have the reactants be zero. It's not necessarily the reactants, it's the unfavored side. So technically, I'd want to find this value and find the favored side. Uh, I'm, by doing it the way I'm doing it, uh, I'm assuming that the unfavored side is, is this side. Okay. But you can multiply it, I just made it up on the spot. But you need a zero on the unfavored side. If you don't have at least one, you have to do a stoichiometry. Uh, yeah. Can you explain again how to um, differentiate a favored side? Yeah. Anybody? How do you know what the favored side is? K is what K one. indicates. So if K is large, the products are favored. K is small, meaning a lot smaller than one, reactants are favored. So you look at the opposite side of which K indicates of what K indicates. That's the unfavored side. 
according to k, and then you need a zero there. If there's no zero, you've got to do stoichiometry first. So for this one, would you look at the k total then to see yes. if it's Yeah, this one okay. right here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be small because KSP is really small, but this one's not that big. What if k totals around like 1? Does that mean that they're yeah. 1. What was KSP? What did I say KSP is? Uh, uh, no, it was written in 7.1 times 10 to the negative 7.1 times 10 to the negative 9 times KF, which was? 2.4 oh, times 10 to the 1. That should be a really small number, right? Is so, ever gonna be one, what's that? Is K total ever going to be around one? Uh, if it's around one, you do the problem as normal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you don't do stoichiometry. But so the favorite side would be this side. This would be unfavored. It has a zero. I don't have to do stoichiometry. Okay.